Hello guys to DGG all about that Fortnite. Today we'll be talking about how to win, play, and everything about Fortnite today. Yeah, uh, I think we're gonna most likely start off with probably the our favorite skins uh, throughout the se- last couple seasons. Uh, Gavin's gonna uh, yeah. Go okay, these. so rating number one, we have monks. Yeah. Um, the sock monkey. <laughs> that one is my favorite. That's uh, the one that I did. That. That's, of course, my favorite, the Sog Monkey. Then we got Omega. Which is my favorite. I just always liked it because yeah. I joined the season before. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Skin. I also love the gold version of it. Yeah, yeah the gold version is pretty mm-hmm. cool, but you, you gotta love that OG. Um, DJ Yonder, third. And then fourth, I like School Trofer just because McCreamy uses it. I don't know. Big fans. Yep. Go subscribe to him if you aren't. And then next, we're gonna... Sh- and we're gonna go to drop spots and our favorite and what how we've rated from one to the 16 locations that are named these are named locations of course not because there's so many more but this is just yeah. locations yeah like personally i would prefer going to off like the off-brand place you might call them which are just like <laughs> like between um like between slurpy swamp and misty meadows there's a gas station that you can go to and like me like sometimes i like to land at the factory uh kill like that bot that you can talk to you get a free heavy ar and uh, and rocket launcher and for number one we've chosen retail road that's personally uh my favorite uh, that I like to land doghouse and then there's dogman there you can get gold from there you can uh, he cannot upgrade weapons which is which kind of sucks but it's all right uh, he there's always good loot there and there's not many people that go there so if you're kind of just starting head there and when you start to get better at it it's still like one of my favorite spots yeah and number two we have salty towers that's my favorite since the bus route usually um lines over that and goes over there and that's like a really hot drop spot so you can get some kills i don't know about you guys but i like the the mix between salty and uh tilted towers it's it's i like yeah salty towers yeah and for number three which is my favorite hunter's haven is kind of up on the hilltop so you have and if you do get a sniper, you can try and get some yeah. snipes in the, early in the game. There's the you're next to trees. There's wood. The, I'm pretty sure there's a bars too. Uh, yeah. There's people that you can talk to, and there's also those AI bots. Those, <laughs> those, <laughs> those can be yeah, annoying. Yeah, there's a lot of those, but they do drop guns, and apparently they drop health now. Yeah, I've heard that they drop some med kits. I, uh, personally, I like to kill the AI bots for the the tactical submachine gun i i personally like it especially like it's not like an ar which is like more long range it's kind of like in between like an smg and kind of an ar so i yeah. like it yeah for we chosen weepy widows because obviously weepy woods i mean and there's a lot of trees so you can get stacked on mats there's a big lodges for housing yeah. and for sure uh i think squads that i think squads is the best place to drop there we always get wins going there yeah and there's enough loot to go around between the squads so you're not always scrambling to find i want this no you get i want that i want that and And they have like that giant mansion we like to call it drew and i's favorite drop spot for squads for sure is yeah we drop there all the time in squads what do you think you guys favorite season is uh i think season x with those Oh, with yeah. the wind turbines to travel faster, that was fun. I personally, I liked last season, which was Chapter 2, Season 4 with all the Avengers. That one was pretty yeah, fun. Yeah, Wolverine was OP, though. I liked getting, uh, dropping at um, Stark Industries and getting a couple of kills on those bots, and then you could just stack your loadout with those like, oh. those ray yeah. guns. My, my favorite, um, I don't know about you guys, but it's Chapter 2, Season 3. Um, I play Apple, so it got stuck on the last update when they stopped updating us. So I've been playing on there, but it's a pretty good season. So don't worry, he's not mobile. It's Mac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I PC. actually used to play on mobile. Uh, it was hard. Well, well, to be honest, you used an Xbox controller. Yeah. Uh, if you if you guys ever are playing mobile, remember it's to practically get an Xbox like controller. a Switch size screen though. <laughs> yeah, it's and true. I I moved on to Switch now. That's my favorite. 
Yeah, and apparently the mobile trick also works on PS4, but it dep- it kind of depends on which PS4 controller because sometimes it does get kind of buggy. Or what you could do is get the adapters to switch into a USB out. Yeah. And then that oh, so you can plug it in. I uh, yeah, uh for um drop spots. Did we already go over sweaty sands? No, we haven't gone over them. Uh well, yeah, that's a really good spot to get uh, I like to drop there because there's a giant, there's a big tall tower, and you can go down and just break all that down. You get do all of the materials drop, and then you get yeah, the all brick, of the, the you get all like, of the guns that just fall. So it's really nice. Yeah, you get like 200 brick, I think. And wood, brick, yeah. yeah. Um, what's next? Holly hedges, which we've kind of chosen as kind of our group favorite. Yeah, I like to go Holly Hedges, especially, like, when I was first starting out, because not many people land there, and you can get decent loot. Decent, decent. Yeah, it's not very good, but it's better than what has been before. And, um, also, if you're looking for those easy dubs, then, um, one other thing, it's kind of tricky, but you have to be on top of it. Um, if you storm waiting, um, Slurpy Swamps is a pretty good place to do it. Just grab a blue fishing rod, since that's... It's pretty good. You get good stuff with that. that then, yeah, Slurpy Swamps is actually coming up in our list. Yeah. Yes. And then you'll try and get, like, med kits and stuff before, just, like, a little bit more health. And then, yeah, yeah stand and then the in there lake and fish. Is all, and the lake, you could just... With the shield. Yeah. Yeah, you can, actually, but, in the middle of one area of it, you can actually just crouch. Yeah. And then you're and actually the, completely the, like, hidden. Yeah, but the, do remember when the storm gets smaller, then you start losing even more health. So yeah, that's when so you're you, going to start needing like to use... double keys. health, so you that's have when to you're stay gonna... in it. It drops you, you gain one, and then it drops you two. So you stay you're actually longer, one. but it's not... You're also going to have to use, like, medis and stuff, so you can um, outlast it. Yeah, all right, uh, moving on to number seven. Yeah, lazy number lakes. seven, lazy we've lakes. chosen Lazy Lakes. Yeah. In the uh, old season, that used to be a pretty... Um, well, it still kind of is like a hot drop. There's a lot of people that go there. There has been... It has starting to go down after, like, Coliseum has come, but that one's not a very good drop spot. Yeah, there's but... mostly bots that go to Coliseum. Yeah. It, so we rated that down lower. You'll, uh, you'll yeah. see here that later. Um... Next, I think we have yeah, Slurpy Slurpy Swamps, Swamps, which we, we kind I of already gone over. Coming up. That's a good one. Uh, Especially if you're in battle. It's <laughs> yeah, you can just like stay in there. and Slurp like, and stuff everywhere. Yeah, what I like to do is I like to, so they're in the inside, there's like the big jugs. I like to just take a bath in them. Yeah, break them. Yeah, yeah those, them. Work, those work really well. Just jump in and you kind of can just jump and then you're uh, kind of, it's kind of like a hot yeah. tub. Yeah. Which we kind of make jokes over a lot. It's uh, pretty funny. I think next is Misty Meadows. I haven't landed Misty Meadows in forever. Actually, I played like a couple days ago and I went to Misty Meadows. Got a dub. Wow. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was solos, which was. Oof. Mm. I don't know how. What do you guys think is the best? Solo squads, trios, or duos? I Personally, kinda... I like s- <clears throat> uh, solos. It's uh, because. Everyone's always asking to like play creative or anything, and then we yeah. just kind of don't want to play creative anymore. You can just hop into solos. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and also and another thing about Misty Meadows. Guess how many kills I got just in there? How many? Eight. Wow, just Eight in, kills. That's, that's, yeah, that's a decent. That's not bad though. for like your first like. Well, and, and I was just in there. That like that's where I dropped, and I was I got eight kills in there. And I think total I got like twelve. I think I um duos or trios. Like I like playing with friends and stuff. So. And plus, like, squads that usually get paired up with AIs, and their people on there are kind of bad, so I like playing more duos. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. you're not always going to have Except for trios, three friends. Bro, those are way too sweaty. Yeah, yeah there's they some are. sweaty players in there. That's why I kind of like um, doing squads with two extra people, so it's basically trios, but we do don't fill. So yeah. it's a trios and squads. Yep. Uh, That's what we usually do a lot. Next, uh, we have Dirty Docks. That one's... Mm, I have you can my get... ups and downs. For challenges, that's a really good spot yes, to drop. Like, especially, like, for... And if you want to talk to Bruce. Yeah. yeah. Or, like, to get that new exotic weapon, the pistol that if you shoot him, it uh, marks him. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah uh, that marking and, pistol. Uh, the best place... Cha- the best challenge to do is to go there is, like, play 
there I knew the snowman the challenges came out a little while ago. We finished those already. Like those are snow is yeah, already two skins. gone and stuff. Two skins. Uh, you can. It was said to like play squad matches uh, or trio matches with your friends. What I like to do is I like to land on those big cranes and you just jump off of them and it'll get you some quick mm-hmm. matches in. But that's just yeah. me. You kind of got to grind to get those skins sometimes. Yeah. yeah like, you what do you guys think about the new Predator skin? It's Oof. it's it's he is very hard to defeat. Especially because <laughs> he just hits you and runs away. Yes, yes, but um, and that how it, you can turn invisible the sleeve thing that you get from him. What I don't like is it's not like fully invisible. You can see like the yeah, outline you of can, your body. You still. can see the outline the of your body, but. It's it's decently good though. Yeah, like I I've seen the game some would get... YouTubers like Lachlan and like uh, I think Laser Beam, uh, they were getting some depths with it. So yeah. yeah, I'm pretty sure that one's gonna be coming up pretty soon. So and uh, also I feel like in Dirty Docks, I feel like there's so much metal if you're trying to if you're trying to go for all of that. Um, oh yeah, since all the cargo bins and stuff. Yeah, yeah if you're trying to go for more. Um, stronger loot because i don't think if much do you guys know the that, best that... place to drop um like if you're a noob just starting off like uh i what i did personally is i would go pleasant park not uh in last season with dooms damien <laughs> but because <laughs> uh, that was scary but i personally dropped pleasant park yeah when i first started playing i usually dropped on the outside of the map or just played with friends but be careful for that storm since you can get yeah. caught up in it. Uh, yeah. Remember uh, that they made those new rift to go fish. So those are those can be oh, really yeah. handy for that. We used to always go to the edge of the map and just fish and then get a bunch of rift to go fish. And then that's, that's just... pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, next, we have Caddy, Caddy Corner. Corner. Uh, I, that's not one of my favorite drop spots. I, yeah. It, you get, I think you get some like... Uh, yeah, you can get some, like, decent metal up here. Uh, yeah, you can get some okay metal. You can. It's nice because uh, the, because the uh, zip lines are up there. So yeah, you you, can, so you can get up to the mountain if you get lucky enough with a sniper. You, yeah. could, you can maybe hit someone in Misty Meadows if they don't see you. Just pop one. Um, what's next? Uh... Is it Craggy Cliffs? Yep, yes, Craggy, Craggy Cliffs. Cliffs. That one's pretty good. Uh, it there's definitely a zone warning up there because normally uh, knows the zone normally spawns on like the absolute other spot uh, side of the <laughs> yeah. map. So that's annoying. Storms always gets there quick. So if you do drop there, make sure to drop there. You get as much loot as possible. Unless drop you are lucky enough, and it kind of goes around where Coral Castle where it goes in that way you you could probably get lucky with it but and yeah. if you're playing and someone randomly joins your party i would kick them um then block them yeah i would kick them and then if they are your friends then just like join them back to your party but you never know because a random person could join and then hack you just remember so, to always keep your party private that's me i yeah, always have my party private always like, keep it never private. Have it on. so you can only invite the people that you can invite people and then so, uh, what's next? Uh, Stealthy Stronghold. Yeah, that's with the new Predator update. Yeah. Uh, you can get it's kinda the kind of hard, in so that. it's kind of lower down there. And everyone's going there now. So, if you, yes. the best place to go now is to go Pleasant Park. Cause and then, then the, once they're get, coming out of there, get all those kills. In the winter map, everyone used to go to the plains. Yeah. <laughs> Cause that's now that used to be in Pleasant Park uh, earlier this season. That was in Pleasant Park. There was there was planes everywhere. That was really fun. I was excited that they brought the planes back, and then this next update, they just and, brought them back out. But honestly, the pl- um planes are pretty hard to fly. I feel like actually, wh- I felt later like they used to be easier. Later in this podcast. Where we will be talking about controls, and I'm going to be talking about keyboard and mouse, because I know that best. Yeah, and I'll be talking about PS4, Switch, and then I think Gavin over there is going to be talking about yeah, Xbox. Yeah, I'll be talking about Xbox since I play on that. And actually, I found out that it's pretty easy to fly planes on keyboard and mouse. It's pretty easy. Um, we uh, are going to try to get through these uh, couple uh, rest of the um, couple of drop spots, and then I... Uh, think we'll have to get onto the controls. So, uh, next is Steamy Stacks. 
Uh, that one's pretty good. You can get yep. a bunch of metal up there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you also can hop in the, um, what do you call them? Like the volcano cool. things? With the, not, launch like, you out. Yeah, the, they launch you out with the air. Yeah. Um, and if you do have yeah. um, the extra the extra glider, yeah, then they're pretty good. Uh, oh, actually, uh, yeah. there's that like purple thing that covers you so you don't get hurt. And then obviously for 15th or second to last is coral. Or, Colossal no, Coliseum. Co- Co- Colossal Coliseum, yeah. Mostly bots land there. Some people... It's kind of like a death trap because they have... <laughs> yeah, it's it like, is. It's like... You can't get out of there very easily. It's like a... Yeah. A, it's, it's, it's almost like you have a bunch of... And I died in the storm since it was like um, right on the corner of Colossal. And I couldn't get out of there since you can't break the like actual Outside. Wall. So you have to either have a lot of building materials or you got to find a way out fast. Yeah. yeah. Watch the storm when you're in there. Yeah, uh, and finally we yeah. have Coral Castle. That yep. one's my least favorite. It's same. That's I, watch I, out it's for those AI time. bots too. There's there's never good loot there. There's not. There's not. Uh, but also remember to use code Booga in, in the, the item, item shop. shop. Uh, yeah, that one's. Uh, we're all big fans of him. He's 2019 winner. World Cup champion. So remember to support him. Okay, I think now we're gonna have to start going over some controls. Um, I think let's start with Switch. <laughs> okay. All right, so let's start with Switch. So first we have, uh, we're doing this on Builder Pro uh, because that's the default and it's one of the easiest, because, I feel. Because would you rather wanna you know, have better f- fighting controls or if you're doing a box fight, which would you rather lose? And this hat, both. And this, I feel, has both. So, uh, first, I think we're going to start off with just normal controls, which are pretty straightforward. Sticks to move and move camera. Uh, R, B, and... Or R and L, those are for switching weapons. Uh, ZR, that one is for shooting... Uh, ZL. ZL is for aiming. And then uh, the up arrow on the left side is inventory. The left side is to mark. Down is to dance. And right is to wave. (laughs) Just kidding. Okay, that one, I'm not positive. We'll all have to most likely come back to that. Uh, The button below those is to take a screenshot. And then the basic plus and minus buttons are to get into settings. But the minus button is to get to the map. So, uh, and then there's the home button. And then there's A, which is to go into build mode. B, which is to jump. Uh, and those are pretty much all you need for going anyway. And then these are the Xbox controls. So the right trigger is shoot. Um, the left trigger is um, to aim, and then if you're building, you go and push B, and then the right trigger is wall. Um, RB is a roof. Um, the aim button is stairs. Um, and then this is in combat, combat builder, and um, to place a floor, that's the like um, LB. And then the move around, that's the left stick. And then to sprint, you hold the left stick forward. Um, and then to emote, it's down. And to manage, like, um, switch all your guns around, you push up. And then um, X is to put a trap when you're building. A is to jump. Um, R is to aim. And then now we're going to move on to keyboard and mouse. But, and and I know we're forgetting PlayStation, but PlayStation is basically, basically the same as <laughs> Xbox. And you, we all have experience with this. I'm experienced with keyboard and mouse. Gabe is experienced with Switch, and Gavin is experienced with <laughs> yeah. the Switch and Xbox yeah. and PC. <laughs> okay, and so for keyboard and mouse, um, move is WASD, W forward, A. 
is left and S is backwards. D is right. Space is obviously jump. And then um, what it, the default R is it'll give you Z, X, and C, which are wall, floor, and roof. And then V is trap. M is um, M, M is map. And then one, two, three, four, five are all are all what you use to switch between guns. And you can also when you're using a mouse, you can also use the wheel, which also does it. Q is Q is where you go into no tab is where you go into in, your inventory. R is reload, and then F is what you use to go back to your pickaxe. And then for mouse, your your left trigger, your le- left trigger would be shoot. Right trigger is aim. Uh, not on most. That you just set that up on yours. Yeah. It's normally R is or left is to aim and R is to shoot. But yeah, depending on what kind of mouse it'll, or what you're playing on, it will make some funky movements. And also. For a keyboard and mouse, there you have a lot more freedom to can to choose because on place PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, you can do custom, but there's not as much customization, and you can also have multiple buttons to do that. So if you want to do um walk forward, you could also do um another button like an arrow key, and also Z would be auto run. And that's all for keyboard and mouse. Controls. Yeah, uh, I know that it's kind of funky, but just remember for you guys that are trying to win, once you get like around 50 some wins, you kind of kind of get to play with some more sweats. That's what I learned a while ago. Once you get 50 wins, you just kind of gets a little bit harder. Um, next we're gonna do, um, <clears throat> um, favorite emotes. Um, this is the internet choice. So, number one, we have Electro Swing. Number two, we have Orange Justice. Number three, we have Phone It In. Um, number four, we have Scenario. Number five, we have Billy Bounce. I wonder how old these things are, because there's some new good ones. They're decently old, but, like, some of them are pretty good, like Phone It In. Orange Justice is an OG. Um, and then these are some that I kind of like. Um, Rolly Rolly, Savage, Phone It In, um, Flapper Dance, and Java Switchway. Yeah, I, I agree with those. And I kind I think this is a pretty good first podcast. Remember... Builder Pro is a little bit different than combat controls, so make sure that you have which one you like and most likely what you're on, because remember, Builder Pro is the default, and... Uh, well, actually, there's default, Builder Pro, and Combat Pro. Well, default's kind of Builder Pro. Yeah. Well, they mostly put it on Builder Pro, because they know it's one of the easiest, but that's what a lot of pros still use, so... If you're playing on... Uh, I think I might throw in an extra little thing to end the podcast is for insane editing. Um, You, it's custom settings, except for you have to switch back to what you're doing and custom settings because you're not, you can't do everything. So it's, you have to go into combat controls and custom settings, make your B, edit, then go over to edit controls and make your A, A, this is for Switch, by the way, make your A um, select, and then you can just spam B, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, and it'll edit really fast. And you remember, put your edits on, edit on release, that'll help a lot. Yeah, it definitely does. All right, I think that's going to do up for our first podcast episode. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.